Okay, are we back? I think we're back. Okay, can everyone hear me properly again? We're back. I think we are okay. Right, yes, we were just punching this thing, I believe. Just really put it somewhere easier to reach. Hey, you, you want to get murdered again? Cool, that's what's happening. Now it just says Nan. Why does it say Nan? That's not correct. It always returns the damage, but... How can damage be not a number? Let's see. How's it been able to do damage if it's... Okay, that's strange. <coughs> Somehow we've been able to do damage, despite the fact that this returns not a number. Hang on, wait, where does it... Where do we deal the damage? I forgot. Oh my god, it's not actually been using that to do the damage. I'm an idiot. Okay, attack check. If that... Return I, where does it call attack check? Somewhere in main. It's not called main, it's called draw in game. Okay, if it's on the damage frame, it does that. Oh, okay, it's been using that calculation. That's not correct. It needs to use um, player.damage calc. Now it should work. Now we sh we're probably going to do way less damage now. Oh no, okay, it just broke again. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Oh, no, because it's still using that. Okay. That's everything, probably. Let's try it again. <laughs> 
Let's see how much damage we do. Less than one. <clears throat> that makes sense, given that we have a weapon with really bad damage that scales with strength, which is really bad, and it has a scaling ranking of one, which means that. Uh, so we have a number, you can't see it because it's over on my inspect element, but that's what the damage that's what the game is saying our damage was. I just need to confirm that against my official calculation just because I'm interested to see if I've done it right into the game so uh, um, set up the punch does two damage I believe that is I don't remember the order these things go in. Okay, your damage is two. Okay, and what is... Okay, scale stat is strength, which we have at two, I believe, to start with. So we put two in our scale stat. And then scalability is one. I believe that was B. Oh wait, no, I never actually factored in... I never factored in the scaling scale, the blur thing. So... Currently we will do... Uh, let's find out y variables y1 0 0.64 hang on that's not right oh wait no because this is slightly incorrect now whatever and so it's x squared over x plus x plus 3 okay we changed that squared then put that then log that then put that to the power of x then add the scale stat and then put it to the power of 1.1 1 .1. then scale stat over scale stat plus 2 No, scale. Wait, what's, scale is the weapon scalability. We know that is what A is, and then that divided. Okay, this top part divided by this. Which is that? Scale plus one. Okay, that should be correct. Now let's find out how much damage we do again. We should be getting about 0 0.64, I believe. Zero point seven three. Why is it not the same? Hang on, I need to check. So it on my calculation, X is the scale stat, which is strength. Hang on, is our strength at 2? Our strength should be at 2. Yeah, it is. And scale is also 2. Wait, hang on, no, this weapon's scalability is 1. Okay. So we work that out again. 0 0.4, what the fuck? Somehow that's gone down. Oh, 
Oh no, because it adds a random number each time. Although it seems to have been getting consistently the same thing. Strange. Oh, that's also not the correct things to exist there. Nerdy Queen, hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Looking fancy? Thank you. Working on more channel art? That's pretty cool. Right, yeah, we have to go this way. <laughs> no, does this do anything? 0 0.73, that's still not right. going to move the enemy so it's right by where the player is. Y is going to need to be zero. And it's Z is going to need to be also. It's going to be like negative 50 again. Okay. Now it's going to be right by where I stand. Right, that doesn't need to exist. Oh, hello. Okay, so our scale stat is correct. Three things. There are two things here. Scalability. Oh my god, hang on. If we times that by two, that's wrong still. Hmm. No gate, no music, don't stop yourself. Oh wait, no, that's just what it does at that point in that song. Okay, I'm going mad. Blah. So A is the scale and we have one in that. And then
Okay, so then you log then you log that, then you put it to the power of x which is two then you log that again, then you add it to that and then you put it to the power of 1.1 divide that by scale over scale plus 2 times scale stat all divided by the log of scale that all divided by the log of scale plus 1 I had the calculation written wrong on my fucking calculator. Wait, this could change everything. This completely changes how powerful the scaling is. My software is super ominous. What, is it because everything's red? I like I like everything being in red. It's it reduces the blue the blue light the because blue light is bad for you. So you know it's it's healthy to have it in red or some shit like that. You know what, I'm just going to go load up something to show you how I'm doing the damage calculations. So if I just... Do I have another window capture I can add? Because I hate to zoom out the one I'm using. There you go, that's good. Okay, here it is. So we have a very complicated calculation I wrote. Lun of the Lun of X squared over X plus three. squared to the power of x to the power of 1.1 that's not right to the power of 1.1 over a divided by a plus 2 x the ln of a plus one where x is basically how much x is your level in a skill and a is how good a weapon scales so for a weapon with 
a scaling strength of 1 this is what the graph looks like according to my program originally I had had it like this was just a flat number that it was being multiplied by there oh that makes it larger okay is that Desmos? yes it is You love Desmos? I love it too. Wait, hang on. A to the x over a to the x minus 1 is a flat number, I think. But no, not a flat number. Oh, he doesn't like that. Also doesn't like that. Yep, that's a constant. If we do this, that would be the progression for what your weapon's damage gets multiplied by, although that never reaches one, so we don't want that. So say you've leveled up your strength to like about level 50 it looks like is where you'd stop where weapons with a scaling of one would start well weapons with a scaling of one are meant to be pretty shit but like leveling up that much to do their base damage is a bit much I think and weapon scaling is going to weapon scalability is going to be on a scale from like um, one to five and this yeah with a weapon with scaling of five you would reach what I'm gonna call like proficiency in it where you start doing above its base damage you would would be at level five and because you have to start your skills at level two wait hang on why does it not it doesn't have a value for x equals two does it? Hang on, please tell me this doesn't... Oh no, that just kind of disappears. That's really strange that it doesn't have a value for A equals 2. Hang on. A to the power of x is a bit broken. Maybe a plus x, as you suggested. No, I don't think a plus x is going to work because you have a drop off in how much damage. <laughs> I mean, I, I know some games have soft caps with their leveling, but I think this is a bit much when it when at level eight. After that, you would start doing less damage. Go now. We can see this for. Wait, what was a to the x? Somehow that makes you do better. That is the inverse of what you want. So a over a to the x. No, because that means you basically reach infinite damage pretty quickly. X to the a. I mean, we could like scrap how I'm doing it currently. X to the a. Okay, you will reach proficiency in a weapon at level 7, well, level 8, you're just under it at level 7, and then know that
then we just divide that by like 2000 oh my god hold on shit no we've accidentally made it uh, exponential instead of logarithmic x squared plus a I mean that looks all right there it does still have like a maximum value thing is um, because you're dividing some this if we get rid of the bottom part let's put that over one it's a it's a kind of exponential like I like it but then the bottom part because the bottom part the if we divide it by x eventually or divide it by like x to the power of something eventually x to the power of something becomes bigger than this the numerator function of x so Maybe just divide by a no because then it goes down we also need to have it so basically it doesn't basically it creates a logarithmic graph instead of an exponential one so we could just do it over learn of a Yeah, still the same thing. Also, that me makes it get worse. Learn of 1 over A. No, because, of course, fractions have a negative learn. Somehow this has just got worse and worse. Hang on. We just divide by a one eighth. I mean that's Is that still no? Because that that's still exponential. Hang on, we just learn the whole thing again. No, because that then makes you have negative values. Then it just seems to stop existing. No, that's zooming out the page, that's not the right thing. Again, exponential, okay. No, because for one it stops existing because ln of a is zero. No, that's not in the right place. I want it to be all learned. I love what's going on under here. I 
Oh, hold on, there we go. So close. Okay, just the top part over Lun A. It has to be Lun A plus one if we're going to do that because um, Lun of one is zero and that breaks it. Oh, that goes funky, but also it's just like the complete opposite of what we want. I just realised that's now doing the wrong thing. I think that's good. I think I like this. I mean, there's some funky stuff going on below too. Wait, what's the value for one? I feel like it has an asymptote at one. Oh, that's zooming into the page. Yeah, it's got some funky values where you can't quite figure out what it is. But given that I want the minimum for any stat to be 2. Oh wait, for a scalability of 1, where does it start? And if I make this go like... Is that for fuck with it? Where's it asymptote for actually it never really asymptotes, it just sorts of gets slower and slower. Hang on, learn of A plus Hang on, learn of A squared. Back to hunting down fonts, good luck. Okay, that's interesting. With Oh shit, no. 0.489. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm really worried about hitting like a soft cap too soon.
I mean, that's pretty good if we just make that. Just make sure it hits that there. Yeah, level 82 you start doing 10 times damage for that and then for a level 1 weapon you still will eventually start doing reasonable damages actually you reach No, that messes that up. Could make then this whole thing just divided by like a really big number. Fast with that. Uh, and then level 5 weapons are just like intentionally godly I guess yeah that was okay here is the calculation glorious time to put it into programming. I'm just going to take a quick break because I've got to go do something. I'll mute myself. There you go. I'll just leave you with this wonderful thing. While
And so I return. Did I miss anything? Let's just get this back to the actual things I'm looking at. So I'll go a short break as well. Didn't miss anything, that's good. Love it when that happens. Oh shoot. Okay, so the modifier starts with being... I'm just going to work this from the innermost equation outwards. And just to make it simple, I'm going to use X and A for now, because that's what I'm used to from the calculator. Okay, so let mod equal pow X2, that's X squared. Then we do mod divided by X minus 0 0.5. Then we square that. Then we learn that. Then we put that to the pa then we raise that to the power of x. Then we learn. <laughs> no mod equals log of mod. Then we put it to the power of 1.1. 1 .1. Also, this needs to be math dot. And after it's to the power of 1.1, 1 .1, we divide it by. Since it, hold on, we just need to make. d equal log a plus 1. d divided equals a. And then mod needs to be divided by D then it gets Lund again there we go mod plus equals x divided by 6 minus a and then we divide mod again by 6 minus a okay so we're now going to run a test We're going to punch an enemy and our damage should be 0 0.438. It crashed. Scale stat because I... Uh Let's see. Yes. Oh, 
we now do incredibly negligible damage with our fists. But um, to get the weapon we have to trigger this thing and it'll kind of fuck itself up a bit, so... Oh, we also add in the luck factor. So you have a chance, based on how high your luck stat is, to do more. So now we're just going to give ourselves a weapon and we should do a lot more damage. Hang on, where is the weapon? Oh, it's all the way down in setup. Yeah, just here we go. Player.inventory.push. No, player.inventory.weapon. Weapons.push. Default sword. Then we can equip that. It has a damage of 10 compared to the fists, too. It also has higher scaling, I believe. See, that does. A minimum of 3.6 this damage. And hang on, I just gotta check its stats. De default sword does 10 damage and has a scaling of 2. So I go 10 and scaling of 2. Yep, its minimum damage should be about 3.6 cool and then when it dies oh there you can see because it's calculating the damage to show what your weapons are doing but it's also applying the luck factor in the screen <laughs> they're constantly changing Oh shit, that doesn't... I thought pop reset the variable afterwards. So we just add in something to send to the calculation to say whether it should include the luck factor or not. By default it will be true. That's not the right function. <laughs> Out of here attack check. So there and then does that and if and ink luck equals true. There we go. Now it will only Add your luck if you've actually been, if you actually want it to. Okay, here we just change it to false. Oh, it crashed. Why did it crash? Because there's somewhere where it doesn't check that. Okay. This is why when you change a function, you've got to update every call to it, Gwen, you idiot. Honestly, me. Who? Who? Why? Who? 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 Who, who do this? Uh, I will be in. No, it won't be there. It will be down here in this. Squiggles, boop, 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 bop. Mm. 
Pow, 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 pow. Do that, do that, do that, and then pow. Probably make it round that value here. Try that again. You go, okay, that doesn't work unless one was not the right amount of numbers. Let's say two. Don't remember if I refreshed that properly. No, okay, hold on. It is Googling time. Okay, we can just add a little thing here. Now it should always display your damage to a decimal place. That looks correct. Okay. I will level up my... I'm going to briefly show. It does briefly show. Okay. You know what? I'm going to make it so there's a button in the inventory that takes... I'm um, not in the inventory. I'm going to make it so you can uh, see your stats without the level up. Basically just is the same thing, but you remove the buttons. Uh, I guess we put it here. <laughs> Function stats UI. Remove the level up text. No, no, right. Four hundred divided by three. We haven't actually made a way to trigger that yet. So, um, it's just as simple as how we add every other UI element. Inventory. We literally just copy and paste this, but we change what the trigger is and what it renders.
case uh, start start view stats UI and there we go that's that now we just go up to the player controls make it so when you press L I guess that's a re that's a nice key when you press a button it triggers that no, that's not the right function check ceiling check controls escape inventory there we go key is down JKL so four five six seventy six exit point lock hot bar select equals wait no that doesn't matter game state equals equals stat view and That's it, I think. Currently we do 3.6 damage with that, but they're all strength weapons, so we do this. Then we can go L, there's no exit button. And I left some things in there that shouldn't be there. But then there should be an exit button. Oh no, there's no exit button because I copied it from the level up, which I didn't want to have an exit button. I also just removed the buttons from the wrong bloody place. Damn it. It's only been going like an hour and a half and I'm already messing so many things up. Uh, where would it be? There would be a button. There would be an exit button in here. There we go. Okay, now we let's say we level up our decks. That will do nothing. We level up our strength. Then we can go L. Weapon one does six point two damage now, as opposed to the zero point eight that others would do, as opposed to whatever it did before, like three point six. Okay, now it should be able to not reset your weapon. Because every time it would hit this it would be changing your weapon so it could calculate the damages for different weapons and display them. But now it doesn't do that. Uh, what next? What is next? Oh, actually I want it to display your max health as well. be just player dot HP plus and then um, at 400 over 3 
and zero. This is affected by your vitality. Then on the level of your eye, we also want it to be there. Health 100 out of 100. Oh great, that breaks. Why does that break? Why does that break? Hang on, in the universal switch. Line 91. Don't even know what function that is, but I think I have a good idea. It's exit in because that specific. I can't just copy in a uh, generic exit button. Because that exit button was not generic, that was one to close the inventory. Which also triggers to see if you've dropped anything and bundles them together. And the bundle isn't generated in other things. So what do we do? We just uh, locally redefine the variable. No, of course not. We just go if... Um, game state equals inventory. It only, only, it only does that if the game state equals inventory. Otherwise it just sets it back to the game and locks your pointer in place, or hides your pointer so you can't fucking do anything stupid. Health 100 out of 100. I take that. Bloof. Okay. Hang on, why is the health centered like that? That's not where the health should be. Oh, because that's wrong on these ones, okay. I never fixed that up, did I? Why didn't I fix that up? Oh well. Love it when the mistakes are only small ones. Uh, I guess we level up our vitality just to see. We now have 101 health. Is that really all it does? And what, I forgot what the vitality calculation is. No, it would be uh, vitality up. Okay, so it's just uh, rounding down the learn of your vitality. You don't need that anymore. Learn of X. How do I get it to always round down? Functions, trig, no, stats. Oh, there's a floor function. Okay, floor learn of x. So when you're at level th three, you have a hundred and one, and then oh yikes, yeah, learn is not very nice there. Didn't realise you would basically just never get any health points. Two, 
Then at three you have three, 103. Then at four you have 105. Then at five you have 108. Okay, that seems to be um, going exponential. Maybe not x to the x. X to the three. And that trails off eventually. X to the nine. Does that that takes longer to trail off? Oh, it also goes below. You can't see any of this. I'm sorry. Yeah, that. Okay, floor player. Or math dot um, pow 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 your vitality to the power of ten. There you go. Now when you level it up for the first time it goes from the hundred and six to one hundred and eleven. Okay, but well that first jump's going to feel like a lot more because it starts you in the wrong place. Now this means basically like the highest reasonable amount you're ever going to get your health to. It's like 140. Hmm. Maybe we raise that to the power of 2 because I want it to be larger increments. When you, when you reach level t when you have vitality of 10 your HP will be 529 okay but hang on just let's just say you leveled up your vitality three times you're already way over double the original so maybe you don't square it just power of 1.1. Also, this should probably be plus a hundred, because it is plus a hundred. Oh wait, I forgot. If we're doing this, we should do this. There you go. That's the full Desmos window, pretty much. So two. Yeah, you start at one hundred eight, then two levels up, one hundred and sixteen. So when does your total health become double its original value? 200 is there. Yeah, okay, that's a ridiculous amount of levels. Maybe more than 1.1 we raise it to. 1.5. Okay, no, 1.2. That way you hit 200 HP at level 100. Okay, maybe not that. 1.25. Does that that changes it a lot? Okay. That way you hit it at level 55. I think that's reasonable. And then it sort of becomes less than it's worth eventually uh, yeah, I think 1.25 interesting how negative levels would look the same for this We raise it, we 
raise it, then we learn it, then we put it to the power of 1.25, and then we add 100. What do you mean there's an error? There's no error. Oh, I'm missing a bracket somewhere. So now you go from having a hundred health to killing something. Well, this thing does have like a really high XP value so I can level up instantly from testing. And now we level up vitality. Nan. What's wrong? Why does it nan itself? Oh, because there's a bracket in the wrong place. Oh, damn. Vitality, and it goes up to 120. Look at the thing you made. I am just doing so. Comes a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So you're doing Ace Attorney tomorrow, nice. I was thinking I'm going to do that tomorrow afternoon as well. Might, might bother getting dressed up again, might not. Or I might just not do it entirely and spend the morning doing a bit more prep for our D&D game. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, we've got D&D tomorrow evening. You're just going to stream after it. You've miscalculated? Oh, that's okay. Let's get this stupid thing to stop printing its value every time it happens. Also something of note is that this doesn't it doesn't heal you when you're um it doesn't heal you when you level up so you may be a little bit screwed sometimes Where the fuck is the exit button gone? Why is there no exit button? <laughs> That's not meant to happen. Oh wait, no, it's because I didn't copy it. I just sort of um, moved the button into a different function. Should be good now, okay cool. Well, I look forward to everything you've got going on. Now I just have to put this exit button back in the place where it's meant to be. Because for some reason I didn't copy it, I just moved it. 
this ingenious programmer right here. Ooh. I should do it. I'm going to make it so when you level up your health, it. Wait, hang on. No, yeah, when you level up, it sets your health. to. the correct value. What's that cracking? Oh, wait, sorry, yeah, that was just. me just fiddling with the thing on my desk. Bad, bad habit. Sounds like my bones are baking. Well, maybe it is someone's bones that I'm fiddling with. Hmm? I'll stop doing it though. Now I've forgotten what I was doing exactly. Uh, game, do you provide any insight to what I was trying to do? Oh yeah, uh, when you level up it sets your health to your max. But just for balancing purposes it doesn't set it to your max after you level up your vitality. So there is a chance that Destroyed Nitro gave you Crunchyroll. Oh, that is really cool. I didn't know that's the thing it did. Damn it, it still does it afterwards because probably brief window where it runs this function again after you leveled up. So we just make it so that happens as soon as you get the level up. So it's only triggered once when it's switching you into the level up thing. Uh, where would that be? It would be in controls. Could it be in controls? I don't know. That's just where I put it, I think. No, it's not because I moved it out into the main loop. Game Flared dot XP There you go, now that should only run once. What level does the player start at? Um, constructor, let's see. Level defaults to zero. Okay, so you start at level zero. What's the lun of zero? Also, we don't want it to be lun, we want it to be uh, squared. Like, because we want it, to, we want you to exponentially increase how hard it is to level up, not um, sort of logarithmically increase hundred times. Let's just actually make this a globally defined thing. XP to next level, and then when initiating, we just set that to begin as 100. Uh, 
no not that, uh, XP to next level equals 100. Doesn't auto cancel? <laughs> that's that's how they get you. Can display your experience points on the stats view. And then have your XP. XP divided by um, XP to next level. Seventy-five. Here now you start at you should start at level zero. XP zero out of hundred level zero. I like how the XP goes into the le the P goes into the L like that coincidence and it won't last once the numbers change but it's still cool go and we use that I guess L now we have one out of 200 XP to one X level which is correct correct your high squad I'm going to be honest with you for here for a minute. I've been on Discord for a long time, but I have absolutely no idea what Hype Squad is. Or how to be a part of it. I know it gives you that little badge on your profile, but like I have no idea how to join it. How to get it, or... You yeah, have no clue? Okay. Well, guess I will remain forever hypeless. Wait, it's, in, it's just something in settings? Must find out. Oh, yeah, there's just a big button down here that says it. I press join. Oh, there's a quick questionnaire. Let's fill it out. Um, which insult would hurt me the most? I overreact. I don't listen. I only care about myself. I'm ordinary. Um... Well, I only care about myself. Wouldn't hurt. I don't listen enough. Okay, that would hurt because that, yeah. You know what, I'm not going to answer this out loud. I'm going to ask question two, it's just anything except the last answer for me.
Last question is stupid. Apparently I'm brilliant. Woo! Cool, well now I have one of those on Discord I guess. Anyway, back to programming. <laughs> Remember that thing that we're streaming today? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Which did I get? I got Brilliance. Let's go, yeah, same, same, same badge. Um, what to program now, I guess? Oh shit, that's not the button I wanted to press. We could probably polish and expand the map for a bit. Because currently it kind of trails off towards the end here, if I'm being honest. No. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Seven thousand, one thousand and fifty. minimize everything and just open up the setup of course are you clips what did you what did you clip let's find out Dashboard, um, apparently I'm br brilliant. Woo. Cool. Well, now I have one of those on Discord, I guess. Anyway, back to programming. <laughs> Remember that thing that we're streaming? Apparently I'm brilliant. Wow, what an incredible what, what an incredible clip to have made. Very very meaningful and worthwhile. This needs to be stone. What do you mean error? Oh, I need a comma. Yep, that looks like it's going to be good. Just going to set my spawn point to here. Six eight. Six eight hundred seven six one. Okay, that's another wall in the right place. Does it need to be that tall? Absolutely not, and we should make sure we start decreasing their height soon because they'll start clipping through 
other terrain. Uh, this is some some of these wall edges are things that or these floor edges are things I have to do off camera because it's just like a lot of stuff on my calculator that you never get to see because I have to basically work out this whole matrix multiplication thing. We're not going over matrices again. You should have made notes last time. Basically, it's just a long and arduous process that I can't be bothered with more. So I'm going to do it off camera. Gonna be even more lucky. <gasps> oh, dang. Oh no, that's that's clipping. That's not good. We can't have that. Oh, I edited the wrong thing. That's the problem. Dun, 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 dun. Then we just increase its width. That's still under it, that's still under it. And it's somehow not clipping through any of the higher up terrain yet. Also a plus. And if I just check my design, I think this corridor should be coming to a close now. Well, not to a close, to an end, where it opens up into something. That way, there'll be more interesting stuff going on. Yep, after this there's just a little junction between a room with a thing in it and then a room with different things in it. And those rooms are going to be nice and simple because large rooms you can cut down on the polygon count. By, um, because there's not as many specific the corners in this room are a lot more than you'd need in a big room of the same size, basically. There we go, that. 7,200. 3,150. 7,200. One fifty seven thousand one ten fifty Mm -hmm. 
I have a sneaking suspicion this might be clipping through terrain, but I can't tell from down here. Oh, oh, I've just triggered the AI. Anyway, it should have realised the node in here was the closest to itself after being able to find a path. Oh, wait, no, because it would have been able to find straight paths to some of those other ones. I wonder where it's going. Oh, no, it's going to be on the roof, isn't it? We just stand really far. Oh, there you are. Where'd you come from? You should just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, I died. And I can't load properly because... What have I changed? Properties undefined. undefined. What has a dot .weapons property? Um, inventories. What has inventories? Entities and the player. Wait, hang on. I can just see it's line one, two, two, three. That should tell us exactly what it is. One, two, two, three. Okay, it's objects. Objects do not have. Hang on, this probably just means I've formatted the inventory wrong when it's loading, or when it's being created. So you are this here? No, this one. I wish it would tell me what variable caused the failure. Oh, you guys can't see the thing. Hold on, there's the error, if that worked. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Maybe if I go... Oh shit, no, it's because the... Hang on, walls, floors, grid. It's because it's missing a thing, so it pushes it wrong. Yeah, we need walls, invisible triggers.
Now we just need to copy, the, we just need to make it so it copies the trig walls. J of I dot walls. No, I dot trig wall. I really hope this was what they're called. <laughs> I'm checking before I go too far with this. Uh, cell trig walls. Yup. New trigger wall. And then height is J dot height obviously. J dot base and J dot event and J dot data. Then once it's finished doing that, it just copies the, it assigns it to a new object. Object or values of Now it should work properly because it's actually using the right part of the thing to make each thing. Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. And if I save, then move and F9, it does. Okay, cool. And trigger. Oh, there you are. Also, it did literally just drop out the sky before. Where the fuck have you gone? All right, because as gravity was applied, it was on the other side of the wall, so then it found the nearest node was over there, and then it went over there. Hello, goodbye. Okay. But, um, I think it's been a good two hour twenty-ish stream. Oh no, two hour. Ten. Okay, I started a little later than I thought, but I think I'm done for today. Actually, oh, a lot of bug fixes. Did I think we added something new? Probably. Yeah. Well, um, I will see you all potentially tomorrow. Or if not, I'll see you on Monday. Do anything on a Monday? Not decided what I'm going to do then. Maybe I'll do the Oblivion stream I promised for last Thursday. Anyway, uh, yeah, see you all around. Bye. E okay, that was not a very good e. Yeah, I'm, en I'm ending the stream. I don't know what else there is to say. Bye.